Hey, what's up everybody? This is Doug. In this video, I want to talk to you about moving your segments from Adobe Analytics to Customer Journey Analytics. So I've got a couple of tabs open here. One is in the Segment Builder in Adobe Analytics, and I've gotten there simply by going to the Segments and plus sign there in Analysis Workspace to create a new segment. And then I have my other tab here, which is basically the same thing, but it is the filter builder, as you will see here, because as I cancel that, you'll see that instead of segments, we have filters in customer journey analytics. And again, I just click on that plus and I'm in the filter builder. And so you're going to want to get used to that name change where segments in Adobe analytics are now filters in customer journey analytics. Now, the bottom line about moving your segments from Adobe Analytics to Customer Journey Analytics is that you'll just need to recreate them as there is no tool to actually bring them from Adobe Analytics over to Customer Journey Analytics. And one of the big reasons for that is that in Customer Journey Analytics, of course, we're no longer just talking about analytics data. We have to broaden our aspect of the data we're talking about because we might be talking about, yes, analytics data, but also maybe CRM data or survey data or call center data or any kind of data that you bring into the platform and then into Customer Journey Analytics to do your analysis. And so therefore, when you had segments in Adobe Analytics, they might provide you with different results in Customer Journey Analytics because they might apply to the additional data sources that you are looking at and analyzing. But let's talk about a couple of key differences that have everything to do with that topic that we just discussed. So in Adobe Analytics, when you had hit, visit, and visitor containers for your segments, now in Customer Journey Analytics, you have events, sessions, and person containers. Now, this is a good indicator to help you realize that you're talking about more data, right? Because instead of a visitor, a website visitor, we're talking about a person that might have data across all these data sets. Instead of just a visit to our website, we're talking about really any kind of session. It could be a call center session. It could be an analytics session or any other session. But again, if you are used to analytics visits, think of that analytics visit. And as the data view is set up in customer journey analytics, there is still that timeout period, etc. And so it's still very similar, but again, think broader with it to the other data sets as well. And then an event in this case is a hit from any of those data sets. So simply put, to move your segments over, you're just going to want to go over to the segment builder in analytics and see how it's defined and then recreate it in customer journey analytics. So for example, if I had a visit container and I said an order exists, I'll put that in there. Then, of course, you're looking at those visits where people place an order and you want to see what happened, et cetera, that helped drive the order. Well, you can do the same thing, of course, in Customer Journey Analytics. I can go into the Filter Builder. I can choose a session and then drag an order in and still go to Exists. So you are still familiar with this interface. But you do need to remember that this might contain more data than just your analytics data. And I happen to know in this case that I have orders in point of sale data in this customer journey analytics connection. I have call center orders, etc. So in this case, when I am saying that an order exists, it's more than just analytics. And I'll have bigger numbers than just in the report suite. So those are really the only things that you'll need to remember. Remember that you will have dimensions and metrics that might come from additional data sets. So if you don't recognize a dimension from your analytics data, it's probably because it's been brought in from one of your other data sets. So in this case, for example, gender might come in from a survey data set or a CRM data set. And so, of course, you could use that and it would be limited to just those data sets that had that dimension. So if you do have a dimension that is really specific to your analytics data, then certainly even in customer journey analytics, it will filter your results down to just that analytics data. But again, if there are dimensions or metrics that span data sets, 
And if those data sets are merged and connected by a person ID, then the results of your filter will be a larger data set. Hope that makes sense. Good luck.